This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. He's gonna get this done. It's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and who. Influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievable. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> martial arts, it's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training. And I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. So about a minute into this one, and not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was me falling asleep. I'm sorry, John. I got to wake up. Guys, get going. Now a kick to the body. Oh, a nice jab to the head there by Lee. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Oh, head kick, bang. He can barely stand. Midway through round one. Beautiful body kick. 
Circling to his right. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Good kick. Under 90 seconds to go. Hook lands. Whiffs on the uppercut there. Push kick there to the body. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Most certainly found the range on the feet. 30 seconds to go in the round. Need some work, guys. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Beautiful kick. Round one winding down here. Oh, oh, that's in the books. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Hey, protect protect oh, man, that right hand is a bomb. Circling to his right. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now. Okay. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice shot to the body there. Blocked. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Unable to land with that punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has... Oh! Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Big power shot there. 30 seconds to go in round two. 
front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Now Leather being thrown on both sides. And doing work with the jab. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. There's the kick. It's blocked. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Let him go. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Able to land there with the straight left. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Check, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Useful. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a come behind. Right there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Final 30 seconds of this third round. That's a beautiful body kick. Waning seconds here of round number three. Let's work. And that's been uh, kicked out of Tom uh, Altop. Uh, uh, All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship uh, round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Well, 
the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. Man, has his chin been tested early. Shot is blocked. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Under three minutes to go in round four. Left hook right hand. Second place and hit him first. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Boom, straight left hand. Just misses there with the left. Fighter lands a kick to the head now. Well, calf kicks have changed the game, and there is another one. A lot of swelling now on that lower leg of his opponent. I mean, it's all purple and black, John. This guy's getting his legs destroyed. Oh, it lands a big elbow. Nice shot. Lands downstairs. Nice straight punch. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 30 seconds to go on the round. Drives the shit into the rim. Great body kick. Oh, good block there. Oh! Oh. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, then, take a seat. Three, it's okay, it's okay. You didn't do bad that round, but I need you to do better, okay? He won that round in the standing. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again. And it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, oh that's big. Big head kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, straight punch. And forth we go. Connects with a beautiful jab. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed him to the back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Finds his range with the jab. 
Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. And there's a takedown attempt. Another big body kick lane. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Missed on the right hand. Block the punch there. Minute left. Let's go. Keep the pressure. You're winning. The One minute to go in the fight. Let me see that hook now. Oh, nice straight left. Put your hands up higher. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. He throws all of himself into that kick. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Lee. Judge two scores it, 48-48, Super. And judge three scores it, 48-48, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a split draw. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.